versus the other Vallejo bottles. <coughs> New paint hype! Okay, this is the... <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is the heavy metal. So let's bring this back down here so you guys can see what it looks like. Heavy metal. Show balls, show balls. Ooh, going over that black looks really nice. I'm gonna have to give it another coat. I like that it's going on pretty thin, so you can control how many, you know, the transitions with the number of layer of paints. It is pretty nice. Alright, so let me go ahead and mix that now. And throw a little bit of cobalt in there. This is the cobalt. This is really a nice looking color. Oh wow, this this color is beautiful. This is a nice color. Yeah, let me show you guys. Look at that blue pearlescent color. Oh, that's so sexy. Oh man, this is beautiful! I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but it's got this blue hue to it with that silver. <laughs> Sold! Well, Scotty. It looks nice in person. It does taste a little funny, though, I'll tell you that. Probably something that I shouldn't be licking. Like, look at that. I just barely tapped into that, like, colors. It's like everything, right? Like, when you're learning, like, to use new colors, it's always, like, you're learning for the first time how to use it, how it works, how it runs, how it blends. Wow, why fire? <laughs> why fire is winning like crazy. Well, before you go ahead and pick any up, Scotty, let me see if I can reach out. 
to skill 75 and see if I can get a code or something. And that goes to everybody. Instead of just going out there and paying full price, I want to see if I can get some codes for you guys. Look at that blue. That blue is really nice. Let me win some Vegas bowling money first. Absolutely, man. I'll wait. Oh, I'm really loving these alchemy colors. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look, Karn. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 I, I see it. I would definitely go a little bit darker with the uh, the blue. I love the, the light green up top, though, and, and the fade into the blue so far. But if you can go a little bit darker with that blue from underneath and make it just pop even more, that looks great, though. Great start. I can't believe you got that so much done so fast. Three million prize game. Oh my gosh, Scotty! <coughs> All right, here we go. Emerald green. Okay, gotcha, Karn. Intent is to watch them. Emerald green, baby. Let's see what the emerald green looks like. And you know what? I'm experimenting with these colors for the first time with you guys. Right now, live. I've never used scale 75 pieces before, uh, paints before. Oh, this is gasmic. This is gasm right here. Look at the color. Oh, look at that color right there. Oh my goodness. That's like a metallicish green. That's beautiful. The first place guys got 10 grand. It makes it look like it was tempered, right? And then you put a little purple in there. <sighs> gasmatic. It is so gasmatic. All right, man, festival, you have a good night. I was supposed to do some gaming tonight too, but oh man, I'm having so much fun with uh, with this pit and meeple. What's up? come back over the edge with just just silver throwing in the blues and the greens in there oh man look at that blend it's just beautiful I'm loving these alchemy sets Just because you can play around with it so much with different color variations. Shame I gotta bloody it up, I know, right? For now, I, you know what? I'm gonna go with these and I'm gonna add the greens and I'm gonna add a little bit of purple to get that tempered look, that tempered steel.
<laughs> I feel like that blue could be a little bit darker though. Add a little bit of black pigment to it. So far, it looks pretty sweet. That's looking pretty sexy. All right, let's go with just the silver now. Just along the edges. That's not even the brightest silver. Add some green back in here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Scotty. Thank you so much. Look at how look at how fun that is. Like look at the colors. It's like a chameleon. It changes. I'm gonna definitely mix in the purple now. Check it out. Look at how beautiful that purple is gonna look. Oh my goodness. If you guys don't gasm after you see this, you have no soul. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys have souls. Let's throw some purples in. <coughs> Look at that purple. Look at that purple. Look at those three colors. Four, I should say. Silver, the blue alchemy, the green emerald, and now the purple. Oh, oh man, excuse me. I'm dying. I'm dying. Yes, Fuzz, this is scale 75 paint. That purple popping on armor. Oh boy, time to make some plastic purchases. <laughs> oh my gosh, this purple is gorgeous. Oh my god. Dude. That's some sexiness. Make some blues back in there. Personally, I think the blue could be a little bit darker. But... You know what? Look at that, a little bit of purple. No, I'm not sponsored. Oh, oh my gosh, I would love to be sponsored, but I'm not. I just picked up some of their paints.
I want to ask them though. I, I guess it won't hurt. That purple really makes it nice. Oh, thank you, Fuzz. Woo! Somebody just text messaged me or called me and it vibrated. Woo! Gasm! <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm really liking these colors. That was a straw colored one to finish the tempered look. The yellow, you mean? I might. Oh, wow. That's looking really great. I might. Let's check it out. I have ink intensity here. I'll show it on this. I have all their inks now, which means I got black, intense wood, intense chestnut, violet, blue, green, red, and yellow. And these are inks. And, and their inks aren't your typical inks like water. It's more like regular paint where you can mix in with other colors to, to change the hues and tones. It's amazing stuff. I saw him demonstrating it. <clears throat> and here, check it out. I also have Metal Alchemy Copper Series. Oh, snap. Guess what I got? There's a Decayed Metal, Copper, Garnet, Alchemy, Ruby, Pure Copper, Victorian, Amber, which is probably what I'm going to use next, and Moonstone. And then I have the Golden Series, which has their Necro Gold. Look at that gold. Sexiness, Viking Gold, Dwarf, Dwarven Gold, Elven Gold. Then there's Citrine, which is more like an off-white. Their Tourmaline. They're Kunzite and they're Pidot. So there's a lot of colors for metallics. And that's just metallics. I don't even own their regular greens, blues, and reds. But I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to pick up some more paints. Honestly, uh, I'm selling off stuff like the donation goal that I have. To make some money so that I can invest back into the hobby so I can get um, the scale 75 paint set because I want to get the full paint set and it's like 200 200 bucks or something like that which is why I'm selling that sentinel their flesh and green set yeah I want to get that too I want to get the flesh set. I want to get everything too but I want to get their whole whole thing the whole set How's the pricing on the pots? I don't know. They don't really sell it in pots. They don't sell it individually, I don't think. You have to get it in a full, like, set, I think. <coughs> I don't know if I should go with this or Moonstone. What do you guys think? I should probably go with this, right? Yeah, I might go with this. Uh, Haska, they do have a U.S. distributor. That's the guy that I'm trying to get in touch with, or in contact with. We spoke a little bit while we were at, while I was at Adepticon. This is the yellow. Forgot what it was called already. 
We can mix, mix a little bit of silver in there too, I guess, if we really needed to. Don't worry, all these little dots will be will be blacked out later. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It, uh, it it is really nice, right? How many of you guys want to buy some Scale 75 paints now? Hey listen, the more of you guys that are interested in buying, um, I may not get sponsored by Scale 75, but I will definitely be able to, to have more leverage and say, hey, we've got a lot of people that want to purchase um, without having to pay hefty ship, uh, shipping fees and stuff. Can you give me like a code, a discount code, and you can get some discounts for you guys maybe. <laughs> you know? It's on the radar now? Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely. For sure, because... Man, these are nice. I mean, I heard a lot about them, and people have been asking me to try it out for a while. Yes, their minis are amazing, too. I Bucket, I showed, I showed one of their minis the other day. The 75mm Vampire Queen. In resin. She's gorgeous looking. Throw a little bit of green. And what's nice is these alchemy paints all mix well together too with each other. Yes, it's pewter. But the one that I got is resin. Check it out. Oh my goodness. I have to throw a little bit of silver back in there. Because we lost a little bit of that silver on the edge. Alright, so now I'm going to go in there with black paint. A little bit of black. I don't know, I was thinking about playing a game tonight, but I'm kind of getting tired. I don't know if I want to jump in and play a game tonight. I want to play a little XCOM, but it's been a long week. Oh, you did the math on it, Hoska? Is that how much it comes out to?
Look at that with the black in there. And eventually I'm gonna throw some pigments in there to, to rust this up a little bit too. Hey, what's going on, Wi-Fi? Yeah, I'm testing out the new uh, Scale 75 paints Wi-Fi that I picked up from the Depticon. I'm loving it. <laughs> 